Okay, so that first fight went a lot better. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. <laughs> hey, blood jaw. Switch. Yeah, there we go. You. Gross stuff. There we go. Worked out a lot better. The stun really, really helps. Like, oh my gosh, does the stun help? Yeah. Amazing how when you're not getting hit, it actually works out for the best. Mm -mm -mm. None of this alert to arms. Uh, none of that crap. Four dudes here. There we go. I can take three dudes. I'm not too worried about it. All right, blood jaw. Our guys are tough. Huh. What? I wasn't trying to sneak away, I was trying to get behind him so he could protect me. There we go. And I do like how it auto cues the uh, first attack there. No, your health could regen any time now. Be great. Oh, hey, level up. Cool. There we go. 200 health on you. Makes me happy. Hmm. Let's add more strength to you. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Skills. What you got? What you got? Require level six. Require level six. Hell oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 
I'll go with that. Right, because as long as you're not getting hit, you should be fine. I don't know what stability is, and that's a problem. Decisions, decisions. I'll go with that. Sure. Why not? You knew the menus were gonna cause me trouble. <laughs> I always take forever in menus. I apologize. He's dead. There we go. Doing a little better at this combat thing. I do like the initial stealth kill. That makes me... I wish I could chain them. But I will. Alright, checkpoint here. Problems. All right, let's go. Let's see how this works. All right, the big guy, punch him. Huh. Quicker we can stun Zork there, the better. Alright. Can we stun him, please? Maybe he can't get stunned. What are you doing? Did you kill him yet? Come on now. Oh, great. Now we're stunned. This guy, throw a freaking dagger at him. Alright, so, Blood Jaw is probably gonna go down here. I'm anticipating it. Yep, there it is. 
What? How did I get stunned? Get- No! You bastard! Quit stunning me. Please get up. I just, like, breathed at him. Oh, that's amazing. This. I didn't notice this last time. Sacrificial daggers, eh? Which does some extra stuff. So cool. And it does change their actual sprites. So I do appreciate that. Well that went better than last time. We're almost safe. My hideout is right behind there. Way better than last time. That's stupid, he wouldn't get stunned. I guess you're ideally supposed to stun the first two guys and then just go Please all out on quiet. Sork. Finally. This is my hideout. <laughs> we can take it easy here. The members of the Black Hand don't want to get caught by the militia either. That's Fox. She's got eyes and ears everywhere. And believe me, it comes in handy. That's Spearhead. A true fucking master with a medal. You might want to go see him. Just your dick and a knife won't be enough on the other side. <laughs> That's the last in the corner. He's the last survivor of his tribe. Pretty damn tough if you ask me. You've got lots in common. Maybe you should try and bring him into your knitting circle. <laughs> he kind of looks like Slop. <laughs> and up there, that's Monkey. He's the boss here. We'll say hi to him just to stay on his good side. I think it auto cutscenes again. There's so many cutscenes at the beginning. Hey, still I hope alive, it scumbag? Ends fairly quickly. I hope. Kicking and screaming. Arkai, this is the monkey, captain of the Black Hand. Uh, hi. Captain. You look pretty good there, buddy. You could do wonders in the Black Hand. There's already a few of you people here, and they're pretty impressive. But a blood jaw. If you ever want to hire on as a mercenary, you'll be more than welcome. In the meantime, dump your gear somewhere. You're among friends here. It's safe. So, what's new, monkey? We're in the middle of a storm here, buddy. And believe me, it's a big one. You know they're onto you, and those fanatics are in a frenzy. They even caught the Brotherhood of Fat Gun less than two hours ago. They killed them all. Oh, that's not good. Fat Gun owed me money. <laughs> well, I guess we'll kick back here for a while until this blows over. <sighs> Alrighty. You're the guide. The goblin is right. Anyway, your business will take time. Sarkis is going to ask you for something in exchange for getting you across. He's not going to do it because he thinks you're cute. But Jarhill spoke about a caravan. Why don't we join that? The caravan is blocked on the other side of the wall. With the Inquisition here and the town locked down, nothing is like it was before. We got no choice. We have to change our plans. Of course. Since there's no more caravan, what do you suggest instead? Well, like I told you, 
We go see Sarkis so he can get us under the wall. We do what he asks in exchange, and there you go. We'll find the damn caravan on the other side. Do what he asks in exchange? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> hey, nothing's free around here. This is the territory of the humans, the Quarson. Never forget that. And Sarkis is not the best example of his kind. So give him his gold and let's move on. I highly doubt he'll be interested in that. It's not every day that he gets his hands on a blood jaw. I think he's gonna ask you to bump someone off or take out a competitor. Nothing too complicated. Don't worry. Right. <laughs> Don't well, worry. We make sure we got everything we need. And as soon as we're ready, we go see Fox so she can get us out. Okay, so this is uh, where I'm going to end this one off. I know I never do that, but this is pretty much as far as we got. I did do one other thing, which we'll do here in a little bit. Um, but I'm very paranoid about these turning out okay, because I really don't want to have to do that whole thing a third time. But I'm getting better at it, so that's a plus. We'll save here just in case that didn't go well. I can always load back. Anyway, thanks for joining me on Of Orcs and Men. And next time, I'll talk to the people in camp. See how things are going. Yeah. <laughs>